Welcome back, everyone. It's Rudy Rodriguez Show Ma, and I've got another rant. It's Rudy's rants from Come On Now, the podcast. It is the gift that keeps on giving, and I keep using that terminology because it just is. There's not a day that goes by where people can't talk about it. So I'm going to talk about it. Cheryl Swoops, are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Cheryl Swoops, the queen detractor of Caitlin Clark. The Caitlin Clark, who was 25 years old. The Caitlin Clark, who was taking 40 shots a game. The Caitlin Clark, who was in her fifth year in college. The Caitlin Clark, who was going to have all kinds of trouble dealing with the physicality of the WNBA. The Caitlin Clark, who two weeks ago, three weeks ago, wasn't rookie of the year in Cheryl Swoops' opinion. That Cheryl Swoops, she's a fraud. She was exposed. And this is why this debate is so irritating. Because when you ask one of these individuals who are queen detractors in the Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese discussion, detractors of Caitlin Clark, they seem to always point at ridiculous things. They prepare arguments beforehand so they're ready. But this wasn't the case. This wasn't the case. Now, Cheryl Swoops was caught off guard. She was asked a question on a podcast about who would be her starting five for the WNBA All-Star team. Obviously, the team that will play the Olympic team in the All-Star game in a few weeks, whenever it is. I think it's a couple of weeks from now. Wow. She says, Neka Agumake. She says, Arike Agumbawale. She says, Dewana Bonner. She says, Kayla McBride. And she says, Caitlin Clark. I quote, I'm going to Wana Bauer, Arike Agumbawale, Neka Agumake, Caitlin Clark, and Kayla McBride. Watch for yourself. Real quick before we move on, who would be your starters for this team WNBA if you had to pick? Ooh. Ooh. For I don't know, huh? WNBA. Um, all right, you're putting me on the spot. I'm gonna go. I'm going Dewana Bonner. Okay. Uh, let me keep going. Arike Agumbawale. Mm-hmm. Neka Agumake. Mm-hmm. I like it. Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. And Dijanae Carrington. Oh, my bad. She's not on here. <laughs> um, I'm going to go. Ooh, Kayla McBride. Okay. Or, or Alicia Gray, one of those two. <laughs> Where in the world is Angel Reese? The profound adoration, the profound love, the profound worship for your ever sweet Angel Reese. The woman whose games you're going to, where she's giving you big hugs after the game. Where is she? Your angel who you called rookie of the year, who's doing so much. Now I'm being hyperbolic as hell right now because Angel Reese is having a really good season. I've said it and I'm going to say it again. She's completely exceeded any expectations that I had for her. She's having a really good season. Bogus record that she continued yesterday, notwithstanding, she's having a really good year. 
but you're going to tell me that you have been professing her to be the rookie of the year and you leave her off the list for the starters in the all-star game when you're given the option to make that call? Wow. So, wow, that's crazy. You, you know what they say when you are put on the spot? When you're put on the spot to answer a question, you usually tell the truth because you need to prepare your lie to make it sound like the truth. And that's typically what you get from all these pundits who are going on TV. They're preparing their argument so that they don't sound like complete clowns, even though they sound like complete clowns. They say things to make it look like they actually believe it because they prepared it and they've practiced, rehearsed, they've rehearsed it before they've gone into that in front of the camera before they say what they say, such as plus minus, um, net rating, team record, all this garbage, which is subject to change on almost a daily basis and is a team situation on an individual one. Secondly, Cheryl Soups has been on record over and over again about how there's been, you know, Caitlin Clark's too old. She's too, too many shots. She's this, she's that. Physicality, blah, 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 blah. And now when she's put on the spot to answer the question, she admits, I'm, you're putting me on the spot. Okay, yeah, you're on the spot. Answer. And she has this list in front of her. And she picks these women. And she says, Dewana Bauer, Arike Agumbawale, Neka Agumake, Caitlin Clark. At first, she says DJ Carrington, but DJ Carrington's not on the list. So she says, oh, Kayla McBride. Let's talk about these numbers. Angel Reese right now is averaging 14 points, 11.9 rebounds, 1.9 assists on 41.9% shooting, 75% from the line. Her comparables are Dewana Bauer and Neka Agumake. Dewana Bauer right now is averaging 17 points, 17.1, um, 6.3 rebounds, 1.8 assists, on 42.9% shooting. So her shooting percentage is only marginally better than Angel Reese's. Her rebounds are way lower. Her points are a little bit higher. Neka Ogumike is averaging 17.1 points, 7.4 rebounds, 2.6 assists, and 52.4% 50, shooting. So she shoots at a much higher you know, clip from the field. She's also playing on a better team. Much better team. Seattle's a much better team than Chicago. Even though Chicago won one of those two games last week, Seattle's a much better team. And Wumake has a WNBA MVP. She's a former WNBA champion. But these numbers are very comparable. These numbers are very, very comparable. Angel Reese's numbers are very, very respectable in comparison to Bonner and Agumake. Kayla McBride's a guard. She's averaging 15.5, three rebounds, 3.7 assists on 44.3% shooting. She plays for the Minnesota, Minnesota Lynx. She's not the best player on their team. And this is part of what it is to me, right? Caitlin Clark is the best player on her team. No one would dispute that. Arike Gumbawale is the best player on her team. No one would dispute that. Caitlin McBride's not the best player on her team. Navisa Collier is. Neka Ogumake is not considered the best player on her team. Jewel Lloyd, Skylar Diggins are both right in that conversation, if not better. And Ogumake is towards the end of her career as well. And Dewana Bauer is not regarded as the best player on her team either. Alyssa Thomas is. She's on the Olympic team. Caitlin Clark is without a, a doubt the best player on her team. I don't think Angel Reese is the best player on her team. I think Kennedy Carter is the best player for the Chicago Sky. I think Kennedy Carter is fantastic. But you have an opportunity here to solidify your belief, what you've been saying, that Angel Reese is the rookie of the year. And when asked the question about your all-star team, you run with three guards, Kayla McBride, Arike Agumbawale, and Caitlin Clark, and you run two bigs with Ogumike and Bonner. Why did you run three bigs? Why didn't you run a front line of two forwards in the center? Your third forward could have been Angel Reese. You chose Kayla McBride. You could have gone back and corrected yourself. You didn't. Why? Because it's the truth. There's, not a, there's no way in the world you can believe that Angel Reese is the rookie of the year this year 
and not have her as a starter on the all-star team, but have Caitlin Clark as a starter on the all-star team and have Kayla McBride as a starter on the all-star team. You could have run two guards and three and two forwards and one center. No, you ran <laughs> two forwards, one center, and I'm sorry, two forwards and three guards. You were exposed, Cheryl. Everything you have said in the past has been exposed for the fraud that it is. It's fraud. You speak because you wanted clicks. You speak because you wanted to have that I support the black women bullshit narrative because that's what it is. It's a bullshit narrative. This is basketball. We're talking ball right here. And the things that you said about Caitlin Clark in the past were so out of whack ridiculous that I couldn't possibly possibly believe that someone of your knowledge, experience, would truly think that Angel Reese is better than Caitlin Clark or that she was the rookie of the year over Caitlin Clark because you know better. They all know better. But they've been pushing this narrative hard. Oh, yeah, the most recent one was that Caitlin pushes off on every shot she takes, which we know is not true. We know it. Would, would, would someone argue that Angel Reese pushes off on every rebound she gets? Because she does push off on rebounds. I watched it. Just like Caitlin Clark has pushed off on shots. But to just do it every time? No. Just like Reese doesn't do it every time. And you know what? If they do do it every time, guess what? They're getting away with it. But man, oh man, oh man, the exposed Cheryl Swoops. You've been exposed as a fraud. I'm glad you finally told the truth. I'm sure on the next Gills Arenas podcast that you're on, you will try to change your story. But we know the truth because you put it out there. Caitlin Clark is the rookie of the year. Caitlin Clark is the on the it would be a starter on your all-star team. Angel Reese would not. So all that crap you've been spewing, it's all bogus. And you just told us. Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to our channel. We are well over 1,200 subscribers now. We thank you for your support. Come on now, podcast, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and come on now, pod on X. Come on now.